All of the parties involved in the talks to keep the Montour Preserve open were together this morning. State Senator John Gordner hosted the meeting along with State Representative Kurt Mosser. They were joined by four representatives from Talon Energy, Mark's Executive Director, and a Montour and Columbia County Commissioner, along with a representative from the State Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. The group talked for about an hour and went over the facts so there's no misunderstanding about how they got to this point. Talon left the meeting saying they may reconsider financial help to keep the preserve open. The company will still keep the visitor center open five days a week and will maintain some things like the dam for the lake. But Mark will still be required to maintain and operate the remaining portions of the 650-acre preserve, and it will need to raise at least $100,000 by May 31st to do so. PPL has said that if the money isn't in place by June 1st, it will begin tearing down pavilions and restrooms, along with closing the boat launch and some roads around the preserve. There also was some discussion about necessary state support should Talon ever close the coal-fired power plant in the future. Mark Executive Director Bob Stout told us this afternoon that they are currently at nearly $82,000 after having just received $10,000 from Service First Credit Union, and he is cautiously optimistic that they'll hit the $100,000 mark, although he wants people to push past it so they have a little more financial stability and they're set up better for the future. You can make a donation through MontourRec.com.